welcome back everyone to another video and this one we'll be taking a look at the ubuntu os on the windows 10 store now this has been going around a lot in the previous few days and everyone is reporting that ubuntu is now available on the windows 10 store and as you can see i am already on the windows 10 store so it's not upfront it's not something that i can go ahead and you know download from the home screen directly i do have to go ahead and search specifically for ubuntu so once that is done uh, we can actually see that ubuntu is is available and uh, we can open that but what we see right now is that there is absolutely no way to uh, install it and it does say that uh, it's only available it's still only available on windows inside the program now when i saw that window ubuntu that ubuntu is available on the windows 10 store my first uh, reaction was that maybe it's now available for regular windows builds but it's not still only for inside a preview luckily i'm i am running inside a preview so uh, we can install it but still i am not able to install it now if i were to divert your direction to this line right here it says uh, to use this feature one needs to use uh, one needs to use turn windows feature on and off and select windows subsystem for linux so this basically seems like a dummy windows 10 store page that only describes sort of how to install now i would have really liked to have the get option and install it directly but um what we have to do is turn windows uh, the turn the windows subsystem for linux feature on now that is already on uh, on my machine and next it says that after above is done simply use the ubuntu command in command.exe or launch ubuntu from the start menu so let's open cmd and uh, see how that works when i type in ubuntu it is not recognized as an internal command and let's check if wsl is enabled and for that we'll just go ahead into uh, just a second turn windows feature on and off and wait for it and we can see that we do have the uh, windows subsystem for linux enabled but it's still not showing the uh, Ubuntu command or the Ubuntu app as yet so uh, one of the things that we can do is actually and that is not to run the Ubuntu command but rather run the command that says bash and once that is done you can press Y uh, and continue now here's the thing it is again downloading from the Windows Store it is not downloading from anywhere else so it would have been fairly easy to incorporate this whole thing of me going to go ahead and uh, just type in bash manually it's on windows so i guess it makes more sense to go ahead and just have the get get button working and to install it directly from the store so yes it does download from the windows store for some weird reason they actually don't have the get button working but uh, that being said uh, well yes this is just a dummy page nothing else and uh, it doesn't install a very different version of Ubuntu or doesn't create a different sort of environment it's just there it's just the web page that they pushed onto their app store so yes this is it's absolutely nothing to get excited about this was a feature in Windows inside the program earlier it still is it's still not released to the proper windows uh, 10 and um, that's about that so uh, again thank you so much for watching i hope you like this short commentary on uh, ubuntu on windows 10 and it's always an inst interesting topic uh, and to see where both canonical and uh, microsoft goes with this so again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one